Hey man, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into this video for real, for real, you guys already know what we have to do to start off every video. We gotta turn up. Hey man, we still bumping JD Young and RIP again to my dog. I miss you, nigga. Hey, look. Say what the fuck you wanna say, make sure you keep it real, though. Keep it real, these niggas act like real, ho. If bitch, I keep that strap on me, but no, this not no deal, though. Step on that pussy, nigga, like some steel toes. Bitch, don't tell me you gon' make me feel uncomfortable. Alright, now that we got that out the way, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Remember, before even continuing to watch this, I'm gonna need y'all to leave a like, leave a comment, anything to help me out to help boost my page out. Cause hey, y'all be saying it yourselves. I know I'm underrated, you know what I'm saying? But again, my time will come whenever that may be, God. Uh, hopefully, it'll be soon, and uh, please be soon, cause I'm tired of this shit. But no, on a real note, welcome back to the channel, y'all. So tonight we have our my favorite day of the week you guys already know what it is chest and back stupid now tonight i'm not gonna lie i think i told y'all last video that uh like every like every other monday or so i somehow end up sleeping on my shoulder the night before so i can't really bench as heavy but motherfucker we slept like we slept like that last night so we did not sleep on the shoulder my shoulder's feeling good we are gonna bench heavy tonight and i've actually been incorporating like heavy ass dips again to help increase uh, my weak portion, which for me is the lockout portion on the bench. So I know it's only been like two weeks since I've incorporated them, but still, I'm, like, I'm gonna go stupid tonight. And on top of that, like, and then we got then we got upper back after that. Like, come on, it can't get better than that. What is a better combo than chest and back? Tell me. Don't tell me, because there isn't. <laughs> hey man, you see what we got cooking up? You know what I'm saying? Chef Miles and his biatch. We got some chicken breasts. Hey, look, if you guys eat chicken breasts as like one of your main protein sources or just in general, let me put y'all on because I know y'all hate, eat, hate eating it, you know, like plain, without seasoning, whatever. My white people, I know y'all don't season your chicken. But listen, get you some chicken breasts, mix it with some uh, plain Greek yogurt, taco seasoning, salt and pepper. Hey, don't say I did not just put you on. I promise it's gas. Because with me, I'm the same way. No matter how much I season it, no matter... What type of shit I put on my chicken breast, bro? That shit will always be dry as hell. I hate eating that shit by itself, or even with sauce sometimes, because after, you know, you, you chew down like the first bite and the sauce flavor kind of goes away, you're left with that stale, dry ass chicken. You're over here like, I know y'all hate that, but try out that little recipe. Chicken breast, mix it with uh, plain Greek yogurt, taco seasoning, a little bit of salt and pepper. Thank me later. And on the side, as our little carb source, we got a little cup of rice and then some asparagus. I'm not gonna lie, the white people were uh, right when they said uh, this shit makes your pee stink. Cause I ate it the other day for the first time in a while cause I don't really use asparagus as like my green source. I usually use like spinach, broccoli, whatever. You know, the normal people shit. But I forgot that shit makes your pee stink. So I went to the bathroom the other day, right? You know what I'm saying? I just, I just had got done with a little shardy, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, I ate it. And a couple hours later, I was going pee, right? You know, I'm feeling good, feeling all buff, you know what I'm saying? And I started going pee and my, fucking hate having cats they, they do the most random shit but i started going pee and that shit started stinking i was like nah hold up i know i don't have an std <laughs> but nah i just i just have forgotten that that's what it does for some reason i don't know the scientific reasoning behind it don't ask me i'm not motherfucking bill not a science guy and shit but i got scared for my life for a second i thought the the, the demon days for miles Harris fit was over i didn't even get started yet and if i'm not gonna lie I really got to start eating a little bit more food because I've still been stuck at like the 204, 207 range. So I'm going to start pushing or try to push, uh, you know, just a little bit more food. And I know I gave you all that recent uh, full day of eating video last week or so. Probably I'm probably going to start trying to eating around like 42, 4300 because I think on my, my actual normal days where I don't binge eat and shit, I definitely eat around like 38 to 4000. So I'm going to try to up the calories a little bit, start adding in like maybe like more healthy fats and shit because my carbs are already fucking high as hell so we're just gonna see how it goes i know that too that lean bulking is a long process and you know i'm impatient as hell and i always want results like that but that's just not reality hey look check me out so as you guys also know the vpc drop season three went live uh, a couple days ago or so and the orders are doing really good and we also did a surprise restock and i think by the time you guys see this video uh there will be one day left uh, open on the site so if you try to cop anything or you know anything from the old seasons you know any of that good shit make sure you hit the link down below and get with it asap because it's gonna be gone soon 
got my other shirts in the wash right now because I actually wear them. But here's from one of the season three drops, uh, the branch warranty. You got the graphic in the back, then the simple VPC uh, logo in the front. And again, this is not no Gildan tee. This is not no low quality bullshit. This is not one of your little TikTok brands. I make high quality ass t-shirts, like for real, for real. Like for real. I'm not gonna lie, I wish I had more time to spend on this. This was gonna be our original winter drop in December, but I had some things come up and I couldn't do it. But dude, the quality on this is like, oh my God, bro. Like, what is this fucking camel leather? And then we got the sweats to match it and the graphic on the back, like these, oh my God, I really wish at a time to drop it. But I definitely had to work on some stuff like that bulky ass, ugly ass logo. And then another graphic, like, oh my God, this shit is so hard, dog. But yeah, again, if you're trying to cop anything, you're trying to upgrade your gym drip, you're trying to attract more, you know, little gym rat Latina girls, get you a VPC pump cover and they will come running. I promise. It works on me. <laughs> Maybe because I'm light skinned, but it'll work. Just trust me. Speaking of Latinas, if there's any ladies watching this, you know, uh, <laughs> No, it's golden hour right now. It's light skin hour, so let me just remove the curtains real quick and let me let's get busy real quick. <laughs> yeah, my mom's hair is fit. You know what I'm saying? I run shit around here. I know one of these little niggas did not just shit on the ground, bro. In my bro, where's the cat at? Oh, I'm like, did you shit on my fucking floor? Yeah, let me let me let me not let me stop bullshitting real quick. I gotta eat my shit, as you guys saw earlier when I made a little, little cook up. And uh, I'll get back with y'all right before the gym tonight. I'm probably gonna go around 7.30, maybe a little bit later, cause you guys know Mondays, motherfucking stampedes be in the gym deep as hell. Like the fucking fish raided the Krusty Krab on that one episode. I know what y'all know what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna get everything situated, do what I gotta do. And I'm gonna get back to y'all right before the workout. I'll see y'all then. happened to young bands this nigga just like fall off the face of earth like i know he was popping when like x temptation was around ski mask you know that like soundcloud really like 2016 2017 era but like where the hell is he yeah bro this nigga used to make heat check me out real quick you know what i'm saying a little jim jerib you know what i'm saying I, okay listen 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 i could really be mr put it on with the gym fits and outfits in general but listen ever since i bolt up bro and if you're like more of a beginner or you're starting like your bulk soon, whatever, you're gonna experience this, bro. All my clothes, I can't fit into them anymore. I can't fit into shit anymore, bro. Cause all the clothes I have right now in my closet, bro, they're like mediums and larges. Like I think I wear an XL now. And granted, this shirt is, is supposed to be oversized, but like, bro, I can't wait, wear any. And don't, hey, don't even get me started on my legs, bro. I can't fit into any pants. If I wear jeans, it looks like I have a BBL, like I'm some Miami bitch, like, I can't wear shit, dog. But just know, if I were to ever shrink down somehow or become like a midget or something, I would be Mr. Put It On. Other than that, I have to wear the same like three outfits every week, so <laughs> just bear with me. Man, hey, check me out, we got a little pre-workout dish right here. I probably should have put it together a little bit more, maybe made it look a little bit better for the video, but this is not no get ready with me like those white girls be doing, so y'all gonna see the real side of this. This has honestly been my pre-workout like resume routine whatever for like the past like year and a half two years now granted every now and then if i don't have like oats or i don't have you know one of the things needed for this meal i'll just have like a potato or two or possibly like a half cup of rice or a cup of rice just an easy carb source that i can get down digest really fast that way i have it in time for my workout and i'm you know completely fueled and have energy for the workout hey listen 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 I haven't taken pre-workout in like a week. Should I do it? Nah. I don't know though, bro. I'm supposed to be taking my tolerance break, dog. Like, you guys already know the heart problem runs in the family and blah, 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 a bunch of bullshit. I don't know, man. Chest and back tonight. And I'm not gonna lie, like, I know I do my mic up content now, right? But I don't record like every single day, like. There'll be times every like couple days where I just want to like actually focus on the workout and you know get shit done. And I think tonight 
I think tonight's gonna be one of those nights where I just wanna like focus, lock in type shit and not do uh, too much like mic'd up content or you know content in general. Now obviously I gotta do the YouTube video for y'all. You know, I'm not, I'm not just gonna end the video right here and skip it type shit, but it's like, damn bro, I don't know. Should I take the pre and just like lock in? I think we should. I think we should. I'm feeling good. I had a shit ton of food yesterday on my rest day to help fuel me for today. Been staying hydrated today. I feel good. I don't know. And like I said, chest and back is my favorite. So I might just have to lock in tonight and take some meth. Pre-workout. I don't know. I also think this will be my first uh, YouTube video doing like an upper, upper body video at the new gym. So y'all will get to see like all the new machines they have there and how much better they are than Crunch. Like they have the best back and chest machines like possible so we definitely gonna get active oh shit the package came in the mail oh i can't let y'all see the address the ops gonna slide i'm at the dome somebody nah what is this bro i literally ordered a david goggins book and these niggas sent me a fucking plug outlet nigga i got scared well they better pray to god that this order's from my mom and my book isn't here yet or i'm gonna raise hell at the amazon facility i'm gonna walk in that bitch like now that too, I definitely, uh, I recently picked up uh, David Goggins' book since everyone's been talking about it and I know how smart he is and everything. The, I thought I just walked in. Shit, I'm getting paranoid. They pre's not even in the system. But David Goggins, like you should know who he is. He's like the, the bald man that ran across the world like eight times, but he's super motivational, super strong mindset wise. And I know uh, helping or reading his book will definitely help my mindset out a lot more and just make me, you know, tap into that, to that inner, you know, him. So we gonna eat this little pre-workout real quick. I'm gonna do something in the meantime so I can uh, hurry up and get to the gym or whatever. And I'm definitely gonna see y'all right before the gym because you guys know we always gotta do our little turn up right before the gym and everything. So I'll see y'all then, stay tuned. All right, what's good y'all? It's almost that time. And listen, I know I've been wearing this like same exact fit for like the last like three weeks. But again, bro, I've grown out of all my clothes. So y'all just gonna have to bear with me you know what I'm saying? Yes, I do wash it like twice a week. So, but just know, hey, when I got this ex exact fit on, this beanie, this hoodie, these sweats, just know I mean business. Cause I forget if I said it earlier. I'm pretty sure I did with my Alzheimer's ass. But I really just want to like completely lock in tonight. Of course, obviously, I'm still gonna make content, whatever. But I'm not gonna do any like mic'd up shit. I just want to take this day to actually focus on the workout, which I haven't been able to do in like the past couple of weeks. And granted, I'm still going hard, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm still putting in that motherfucking work, that pain. But it's like, I really just need to like focus and dial the fuck in tonight. And again, my shoulder's not hurting or anything. I feel good, so I definitely need to take advantage. But look, we got the little, <clears throat> we got that drank with us, that lean, that scissor. This is a pre, or not pre, my bad. This is just the pump product, the no stem from uh, Legion. We got green apple right here. Honestly, I do not like apple flavors at all with anything, but this is really, really good. I usually double scoop this to get a pretty, pretty gnarly pump and just uh, sip it throughout the workout with staying hydrated with water. And this is the exact same thing. I just got some for my nigga. Uh, he said he wanted to try it out. So I'll let y'all know how he reviews it. And then <laughs> we got that real drink, that lean. And guys, I know some of you guys may look up to me and may fuck with me. And I know how influencers work. You guys, you know, tend to copy them. Do not copy what I'm doing with my pre-workout. I should be taking a break. Y'all gotta be holding me accountable. I should be taking a break off this shit. This is like literally three and a half servings, which is not good for you at all. Not good for your heart at all. Take it from me. Do not do this shit. You know, if you have a super high tolerance, take that break if you truly need it. And just, just don't do what I'm doing. The only way I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight is because I have melatonin, which again, fucks up your sleeping levels. So don't do what I'm doing. I'm just trying to turn up for once and just have a good workout tonight, okay? I gotta leave like right now, but before we get into this workout and, and uh, continue the edit or get into the edit of the workout, we gotta turn up. And they talking about young boy so soul to the devil. I don't give a damn, they still make some live music. Can we go turn up? We're doing this. I'm wearing these new diesel fans. Huh. My mind clothes. Don't discriminate, keep it from 
don't know, I say, oh, fuck, like, Channel 9, it's a murder for real. Send that trigger when somebody get killed. Brain digger, yeah, they know what it is. I guess this workout right now. Let's get this motherfucking edit, nigga. Yeah, I was told if you fight you swing first I was told if you shoot you squeeze first Nigga, why would I give you a free verse When it's 1500 for my t-shirt They remember me broke on the streets hurt That mean you better give me what I deserve If I catch up, I'm making them bleed first If I miss it, I'm hitting the reverse And they always gonna tell me I'm moving funny If you wasn't my man, it'd be worse Like imagine I make you say please first Like imagine I laugh and say he's hurt Like imagine I'm living and rapping and talking and chatting And see him and fall back When I met him in person, he's all cat When he met me, I'm ready for combat When I met her, she looked like a baddie And moved like a baddie, she thought she was all that when I fuck, she ain't getting a call back. They be falling in love with my tall ass. If you owe me, you pay me in all cash. When I see him, it's getting me more mad. If you kill him, so don't get the ball gas. When I run in your crib, it's a door dash. Huh, huh, yeah, huh, look, huh. I've been a mess. I hit him hating and talking and whispering, watching him mumbling under their breath. Huh, huh, yeah, look, hmm, yeah. They be obsessed. They keep on wondering how I keep winning, but they already know that I'm one of the best. He already know he get one of his chest. He already know that there's none of me left. Them niggas say I can't do it, they counted me losing, but they never come with a bet. Them niggas say they get money, they say they be working, but... Uh, Alright, what's good, y'all? So it's currently the next month. Damn, am I this dark? I feel like an unlocked character right now. So it's currently the next morning. Um, I ended up going to bed, like, kind of later than I would like to. Bro, when I... Bro, I took way too much pre-workout. Like, I'm... Like, I'm for real, for real, like, taking that tolerance break. Like, I'm not bullshitting no more. And on top of that, it's just really unhealthy to take that large of amount of pre-workout. And then on top of that, I had to take melatonin to force myself to go to sleep, which is really bad. And I still woke up super late. Now I'm feeling kind of all sluggish for the next day. But, dude, we went stupid last night, bro. That was definitely one of the most focused, most best workouts I've had in a long time. And I know I say that, like, a lot, but I'm being, like, dead ass bro as soon as i got in there and i was benching I already knew it was gonna be like I already knew it was gonna be a good ass benching day it was going up fast as shit we were moving weight fast as bro we were we was really him last night and on top of that we was doing 125s on flat press which i haven't done in forever we was doing like hella weight on the back machines we was just going stupid last night bro and then actually to finish it off which i haven't done in a while too is uh we just did like 20 25 minutes on the stairmaster with the boy gauge that being the mic'd up videos on my Instagram and TikTok. And uh, I'm gonna start doing uh, Instagram lives every night because I did it last night while I do my cardio. I know a couple y'all were joining, asking questions, and we were just talking, chopping it up type shit. So I'm gonna start doing that every other night or every night because I really need to get back uh, doing cardio. I've been kind of skipping it a lot, but uh, really overall great ass workout. You know, the perfect way to get back into the YouTube again and then into posting again. And dude, we was just, we was, bro, I was so locked in, bro. Like, it was like perfect. And I think I did for my bench, I think I did a two by three or three by three with 295. Bro, I haven't gone that heavy in like a month, month and a half. Like, I was really feeling like, like strong yesterday, bro. Like I said, I really have to contribute it to the dips because, again, chest has always been my strong point. So that lower portion of bench is fairly easier for me. And uh, I like to think I have strong triceps, but the lockout portion is definitely where I struggle on the bench. And dude, I've been doing like a three by three on weighted dips too, with like two plates and a 25. And it's it's definitely getting my bench up there again. So I'm excited with the progress. And uh, last night we had dinner, it was like guacamole, some chicken breast and some potatoes. So we're, we're really starting to, you know, clean up the diet and eat healthy and the progress is just going up. You know what I'm saying? I really hope you all enjoyed this video, man. I'm excited. And uh, I, I feel good, you know, making the YouTube videos again. I know I've been kind of uh, pushing them back or, you know, holding them off a little bit. But uh, I'm in full focus again right now. You know, the progress is going good. And uh, Legion is currently having their pre-workout and post-workout sale. The post-workout just has a little bit of recovery stuff in it. And creatine, which I am about to actually hop back on. I don't know why I started, stopped taking, or I stopped taking it. A while back but we gonna hop on that shit and get <laughs> we're gonna get swole cold miles save you i think like 50 percent total because the 30 percent is already on sale and then my 20 or 15 percent with my code all links down below all socials uh the vpc discord if any of you guys want to join it uh for my brand and by the time you guys are watching this there should be one day left for the season three drop so go ahead and copy some merch or the restock Go ahead and copy some stuff before the site closes down for a while. 
because I got to, you know, tell the manufacturer and get the order shipped out and everything. But um, until then, I'll see you on the next episode, man. Remember to like, comment, share to get my video out there. Okay, I got to end the video, bro. You, bro, nobody talks about, none of these influencers talk about how hard it is holding the camera like the fucking Statue of Liberty for like 20, 30 minutes at a time, bro. Like, this shit hurts my fucking shoulder. But I'll catch you on the next video, man. <laughs> Rico, I didn't really pop up in the spotlight. Oh, I make it hot. We spin with them llama sticks. Fred Dotsie got shot at his eight from a leg shot. Can't try to beat him, he already shot.